Welcome back. Today's video is going to be about primarily making the heads for the engine, but I'll give you a little update of uh, a few other things that I've made. Um, one of the things was the distributor, which a very good friend of mine is bringing me from America. And that's going to be the fixture for the distributor itself. So I'd like to thank Stuart from Shenanigans for that. Um, I have made the Joe Higgins, or which I'll put a link at the bottom on his YouTube, sort of set up for making the rings for the engine. I started with six, I ended up with four. I used his method and um, they've turned out really very nicely. Uh, we've also got the pistons, which I can show you. Quite unusual pistons because it's a double action engine. There's obviously two pistons on either end. Um, but uh, it all fits in there very nicely. So they have both been made. What else have I done? Um, okay, so the heads themselves are down here. Uh, they're almost all identical, apart from the exhaust has a slightly bigger hole. So got four holes drilled to screw it down, two holes internally and a 0.3 inch chamfer on each one of them. So they look all very simple. This is how it's going to connect to the engine. So let me zoom you out a bit. And effectively, and I am very pleased with the where this has ended up when you think of all these angles and, and everything else. Um, this is just a dummy, dummy valve to show it. Sorry for the focus. Um, so that's gonna rock now off the cams and that's going to be an inlet at the top and exhaust at the bottom. Um, so yes, coming back to these Joe Higgins, this this is basically the the heat little heating oven that he uh, he shows um, on how to make piston rings. This is for just doing the sides on a bit of emery cloth. With a bit of a step in it and this is uh, basically honing the pistons so you can hear a bit of grit in there so the piston ring gets put on there and then in there and it's honed and this this is obviously the same diameter as the piston oh sorry the cylinder so The video itself is going to be about making these. Now, there's going to be a second video to these because what goes in there is a, a flange, which has then got to have M1.4 uh, threads put in it. And this is then going to be, that's going to be then silver soldered into that hole. Now I've made, and this is another useful thing from Joe Pye. I'll put the link as well to making these. And let me just go and fetch it. I have also, as he advised, put a weaker spring in here. Uh, now I've tried it on 2.5 millimeter when I was doing the heads, when I was 
basically threading those there and it's worked very well but the test will be I don't know whether you can be able to pick this up uh, 1.4 millimeter thread so it's uh that's going to be fun i've got a few of them but um if i break one i'll show you so enjoy the video um these are more complex than you would imagine certainly to get the dimensions right and everything else um but hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching
as I've got eight of these, just a simple block of aluminium squared up and I've only drilled one hole and tapped it here. Everything's all rather tight on this as well. And there's another one down in the center as well. Just thought it was worth showing you this. So, one threaded hole there, one in the middle, and one for the recess to go in. And what's got to happen on this is it's now got to have a flat across there and I can then mount this square down this way and then put the flats on after I've drilled all the holes. So nice simple jig makes everything so much more simple well worth making.